the forehead of your robot. This story in this narration was altered due to its unnecessary contents. It was to prevent cringe and idiotic randomness being put into my creepypasta narrations, despite the changes I randomly put into these stories. I can take this seriously that you guys love the show, Spongebob Squarepants, that aired as a famous show since 1999 to forever on. That show was my brother's favorite since years ago, until he decided to love Rio and the Muppets. But now this story I need to tell you, is a lost Spongebob episode DVD I found since one week yesterday. Here is how it went. I was at Walmart, getting some more bluey toys and plushies, until I saw a DVD that caught my attention. I took the DVD, and noticed that it's a Spongebob Squarepants DVD. The title was called, Spongebob Squarepants, The Nuke. The cover consisted of Spongebob and his friends running away, from what appeared to be a nuke missile coming down behind them. A yellow rectangle was shown on the top left corner, with words that read, June 21st, 2003. I felt confused about the title of the episode. Why does it say that? Does the DVD contains any other episodes? But I decided to think that it's just a sick joke. I got to the paying section. I bought the DVD and then went home. I then grabbed some of my chips, and a soda before watching the episode. I then put the DVD in the disc player, and began to watch the episode. It got to the Nickelodeon fish, the FBI warning screen, and the Paramount logo like normal. Instead of the DVD menu, it just took me to the episode. The intro was normal, but there was a loud ambience of static, until when it got to the title card, it consisted the words, the nuke, with an explosion background scene. There was no upbeat music, and there was no bubble transition. It started with Squidward watching TV with a relaxed face, until he noticed that on the TV, was a nuke warning that read. Emergency alert system. Civil danger emergency message. For your area until further notice. KTLA TV 5. The sound effect of the nuke was heard in the background, like most times from those nuke warnings. Oh no! Squidward cried. A nuke is about to destroy Bikini Bottom? Oh barnacles! He began to cry in confusion and horror. After five seconds, he freaked out and ran outside to the Krusty Krab, to where Mr. Krabs was keeping an eye out, while SpongeBob was doing his chef nonsense. He saw Squidward and said in the most disappointed tone, Squidward, why are you scared? You're late! Squidward then responded in a scared tone of voice. There is a note coming to Bikini Bottom! I mean it! Mr. Krabs was so confused, what is a nuke? He asked if he was mocked. It's a missile that can destroy a whole country or city around the world. Squidward responded, telling the truth. Oh my goodness! Mr. Krabs cried. There is a nuke coming to Bikini Bottom? SpongeBob asked in fear, coming out of the kitchen. Yes! Squidward responded, before taking the two running out with them to SpongeBob's home. He then ran to Sandy's tree dome, where Sandy and Patrick are inside playing chess. Squidward cried out to them. Sammy! Patrick! There is a note coming to Bikini Bottom! There's a note! Sandy and Patrick exclaimed in confusion and horror. Come on! Come with me to SpongeBob's home! We can hide from that missile before- but before Squidward could say his sentence, a sound of a nuke missile was heard, along with the nuke alarm. Then it cuts to two white men in a live-action missile launch. Time to say goodbye to Bikini Bottom, said one of the white men. We shall, said the second white man. Then the first one pressed the button, and it sent the missile. Those sounds sounded realistic, like if a nuke was really heard from outside my window. I felt scared and was crying in horror as if my life was already over. But the good thing is that the nuke was not really happening. It cuts back to Squidward, and he felt like the nuke missile was already about to take down the sea. Follow me you two! Squidward said as he lets Patrick and Sandy, with her suit on, run straight to Spongebob's home. Larry, Girl, Mrs. Puff, Spongebob's parents, Gary, Plankton, Karen, and all the other characters ran into Spongebob's home, with Spongebob opening the door frantically, letting them inside for help. 
as everybody including the fish people went inside of the home, Squidward frantically closed the door and let out a deep breath of relief. Okay everybody, we're going to be safe right here in this place for the longest while. Squidward said. Are you kidding me? Asked Plankton angrily. We are gonna die here when the new kids are spot. I was shocked at this point. They never said die in a cartoon children's show like this. This has to be a joke. Said one of the female fish. I think that too. Said one of the male fish. You know what? What is this kind of stuff anyway? Mr. Krabs said. Then everybody began to argue what the whole prank was about. Squidward tried to comfort them to stop arguing. Quiet! SpongeBob yelled before calming down. It is true. I agree! Sandy said. Never mind it, I guess! Mr. Krabs said, finally realizing what Squidward meant. Then they overheard the sound of the new coming to the spot, to where everybody was. Oh no! Larry said scared. Wrong! Cried Sandy, as all the characters went in different spots screaming. Squidward was just standing there, looking up at the ceiling with a depressed look. He then said crouching down in sobs still looking. Well done! I think it's time our sacrifice has been united to be with your home. Goodbye Bikini Bottom. Goodbye to my friends. Goodbye to my clarinet. And most of all, goodbye to myself. Before the nuke struck, one of the fish siblings started sobbing. I don't want to die father. Then, the nuke made impact. Then it faded to white, only to hear the screaming of Spongebob and the explosion of the nuke herd. Then the episode ended with the two scientists floating over the site. Well done. Spongebob is dead. One of them said, as the credits played with the sound of the scientists laughing. Then it went to the usual United Plankton Pictures logo, and then went to the fish ID with the usual copyright, unlike the other lost episodes, it was normal. Just then, the disc ejected itself, and my DVD player just shut off by itself. I was appalled by this episode. I decided to tell Nickelodeon and Paul Tibbet. Here's what Nickelodeon said. We are so sorry about this episode scaring you. We don't know what just went on. We don't know how in the world you found it. Well before Steven Hillenburg died in 2018, in 2003, Hillenburg was planning this episode, but he was devastated. He then hid it in the SpongeBob vault, a vault where the unaired SpongeBob episodes would be put. However he didn't want it out of the vault. After that, here's what Tibbet said. Thank you for contacting me. And yes, I was a showrunner at the time, and I heard Hillenburg put something in the SpongeBob vault. I decided to never take it out. However I have no idea on how you found this. I will send you a SpongeBob gift DVD box set of the very first season. After that, I soon replied with a thank you note. I have a few questions in my head. Why was the episode out of the vault, and then being stored at Walmart?